this video, we are going to learn why Northern White Rhinoceros are receiving top level military security in Kenya. Secondly, we will also try to address why world is keenly watching curious case of this Northern White Rhinoceros. In the world, Rhinoceros are in the form of five different species. All of these species vary in size, color and in number of horns. Sumatran Rhino is the popular one horn rhino of Sumatra. Javan Rhino possess single horn and belong to the area of Java. Same way, Great One Horn Rhino of India also possess one horn. So while on one hand number of horn is just one in Sumatran Rhino, Javan Rhino and Great One Horn Rhino, on the other hand, Africa has two species and both of these species possess two horns. So one of the rhino species of Africa is known as black rhino and the other one is known as white rhino. Rhinoceros across the world are facing threat to their existence. Rhinoceros are generally targeted by poachers who are brutally injuring and killing these innocent animals in order to obtain their horns. Horns of this species are widely used in the world as gift for making traditional medicines. Horns are also possessed by people because it is considered as a matter of prestige. In short, human greed and superstition has resulted in decline of rhinoceros population across the world. The point is that right now, the number of Javan rhino is just 60. Sumatran rhino are just 100. India's great horn rhino are 3500. Black rhino of Africa is 5000 in number and white rhino is in total 20,000 as per the estimate of 2016 year. Out of them, white rhinoceros have attracted world's attention recently. Now this white rhinoceros of, uh, white rhinoceros of Africa has two subspecies. One of the subspecies is Northern White Rhinoceros, which is also known as zoologically Ceratotherium simum cottony. Another species is Southern White Rhino, which is zoologically named as Ceratotherium simum simum. So at present, world is curiously watching fate of Northern White Rhino. This is the species which was earlier pre prevalent in most of the parts of Africa like Uganda, Chad, Sudan and DR Congo region. But sadly, today it is just limited to Kenya and within Kenya it is just present in all Pajeta Conservancy, an artificial enclosure. Now the answer to the question of why military men are guarding northern white rhinoceros is simple. This species is extremely low in population count. Poachers are constantly looking to hunt them for their horns. So to protect this species, military men are constantly guarding them because world don't want to lose last few members of this species. Historical timeline clearly indicate how sharply this species has declined over last few decades. In 1960, more than 2000 members of this species were present in Africa. But despite international ban on the trade related to rhino horns in 1977, the number of this species went down sharply. Just 15 individuals were present in the year 1984. With slight conservation efforts, northern white rhino number increased to 30 in the year 1993. But then, in 2006 and in 2015, we have lost few surviving members of the species. Sadly, in 2018, we have lost the last male of northern white rhino. Yes, last male which was also known as Sudan had died in the year 2018. Death of last male of this species has sent ripples of shockwave across the world. This is an example which is happening before our eyes. A species has been pushed to the verge of extinction by humans. Now, northern white rhinoceros have only two surviving female and sadly both of them are unable to give rise to the young ones. Najin 
is the female of 28 years and thereby it is very old to reproduce and to give birth on the other hand fatu is of the year 17 and has reproductive problem so those sperms or reproductive cell of last male sudan have been stored in laboratory but the big question is how to revive this species as two females left can't bear the young ones anymore Sadly, northern white rhinoceros is functionally extinct species. Today, world is working on three options to get this species back in viable number. Let's see these options. Option number one, in vitro fertilization. In this technique, sperm of last few males like Sudan will be used. These sperms are already stored in laboratory. Separately, eggs have been collected from last surviving female that is Najin and Fatu. So, according to this technique, sperms and egg will be fused in artificial conditions to generate embryo. Now, since female of northern white rhinoceros cannot breed, so closely related species southern white rhinoceros will be used as sur surrogate to implant embryo. This surrogate will finally give birth to northern white rhinoceros. But the problem with this technique is that IVF procedure is highly costly. Then four decades of sustained funding and support is required from government to create enough number of northern white rhinoceros. So let's explore second option. Option number two is cloning. So should we clone northern white rhinoceros? Let's try to understand the procedure of cloning. In cloning, body cell of organism is used to develop new individual. So in this case, skin cells of surviving female Najin and Fatu will be used and it will be used for making stem cells or IPS cells. Parallelly, closely related species that is southern white rhinoceros will also be used to develop embryo. So the male and female gamete of southern white rhinoceros will be used to develop embryo and later on IPS or stem cells will be induced inside the embryo of southern rhino. Further, embryo will divide. Embryo will divide and differentiate to form new individual. Now there are two possibilities. If stem cells or IPS cells of northern white rhinoceros form the germline, then definitely we will be able to get the reproductive cells of northern white rhinoceros and that is what we are actually looking for. But there is also a possibility that if stem cells do not form germline, rather if germline is formed from uh, the cells of southern white rhino, then in that case there are chances that the species or the new individual which will be formed will belong to southern white rhinoceros because it is ultimately the reproductive cell which define the species and genetic combination. So 50% chance exists that we will get the species of our choice that is northern white rhino. Cloning is also very complicated and also has chance of inducing genetic disease in new individual. Let's explore the third option. Option number three is to create hybrid by directly injecting male sperm of northern white rhino into the female body of southern white rhino. So in this case, Sudan sperm which have already been stored, they will be, uh, they can be induced inside the body of female southern white rhino. But then in that case, it will lead to new genetic comb combination and new species of rhino will be formed. This will be known as hybrid which has partially the genes of northern white rhino and partially the genes of southern white rhino. So the calf may not resemble the northern white rhinoceros. So the point is that there are high chances that options like IVF, cloning or hybrid may not work despite best efforts of scientists. So the point is to introspect and ask ourselves why we have reached to this stage of crisis when we are about to lose our species northern white rhinoceros second is it worth to push species to extinction and then invest money in costly procedures in order to revive population is there any guarantee that even if we invest money we would be able to revive population 
since these techniques also have their own loopholes. Further, we need to ask ourselves, is it ethical to use one species, that is southern white rhinoceros in this case, as a surrogate in order to revive another species, that is northern white rhino? Surrogacy itself creates ethical dilemma. And lastly, we need to ask ourselves, why we have not taken timely action to stop poaching, which is responsible for the present situation of northern white rhinoceros? So in the end, Let's join hands and pledge to save rhinoceros. Let us try to undo the damage done on the biological heritage of our earth.